हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टेक्सचर मिथ इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द जर्नलिंग एंड देयर वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ जर्नलिंग व्हाई जर्नलिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट ऑल कंपोनेंट्स आर देयर फॉर जर्नलिंग राइट सो देयर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक थिंग्स ऑल द बेसिक थिंग्स राइट नाउ वी विल टेक दैट थिंग टू फर्दर लेवल एंड देयर आर फ्यू मोर थियोरिटिकल थिंग्स व्हिच वी शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ फॉर लर्निंग द journaling okay and make sure that you note everything uh, which is uh, mentioned here because that will help you to crack the interviews if you are preparing for any interview especially those who are experienced candidate journaling is very important uh, topic uh, that uh, might come as a your interview question so i request you to please uh, take a proper note if uh, you are preparing for interview fine so in this session what we are going to do we are going to discuss about the types of journaling like what is the type of journaling what what all types are there okay so let's discuss go one by one so firstly we will discuss about the types of journaling then we will discuss some uh, useful commands that is related to journaling itself and at the last we will check for uh, like what is the role of journaling in programming and monitoring and management okay so let's start with the type there are two types of journaling first is before image journaling and second one is after image journaling and both are very important and both are used uh, frequently in projects okay so let's see the first one the first one is before image journaling journal entries are recorded before the actual changes made to the database okay so this is a definition but assume a scenario if you are working on a project on a particular file then what uh, will happen let's say if you are implementing something if you are inserting any record to the file so in that case if you would like to record the change before actually it is changed then in that case this type of journaling is known as before image journaling okay further it is mentioned this type of journal is mainly used for recovery purposes because if you are logging the details with the help of journaling and if you are capturing all the changes before it is actually made to the database then that will help you to restore the or recover the data so it is always uh, said that whenever you are using a uh, journaling in order to perform recovery then that type of journalism is known as before image journaling okay i hope it is clear that before uh, it is already indicating by its name right before means uh, the thing is performed before actually it is performed okay so without making any changes to database or before making any changes to the database it will uh, keep the uh, changes it will keep the records entries into the journal okay then we have after image journaling journal entries are recorded after the change is made to the database so this type of journal journaling is used when uh, the changes are implemented and then after that we are going to log the entries into the journal now when we use this this type of journaling is often used for auditing and replication purpose so let's say if you are performing any auditing or replication of the data then in that case it is always recommended to go with after image journaling okay this is just a opposite of the first type of journaling which is the before image because because in case of before image journaling we are going to record the changes before it is actually made to the database and in case of after image journaling we are going to store the entries after the change has been made to the database so this is the difference and uh, in interview question also this is also an interview question like what is the difference between before image journaling and after image journaling okay now next point is journaling commands so here we will discuss about all the important command that we use whenever we are implementing the journaling process so here i have noted down couple of uh, commands so we will discuss one by one so first one is crt grn so whenever you are learning about command make sure that you notice the characters here you can see that crt is indicating create and GR, grn is representing the journal so this is a create journal command sometime interviewer 
might ask you the question like j he will provide you some sort of commands and from that he will ask you like which type of command is this so from its initial character like crt crt is indicating create jrn is indicating a journal so you can simply say that yes this command is used to create a new journal okay although there are many details that we are supposed to learn for these type of command that we will cover in the upcoming session but for now we are just taking an overview of all the commands that we usually use uh, when we are implementing the journaling concept so this is about create journal next one is crt jrn rcb which is for create journal receiver this command is mainly used to create the new journal receiver as we know that journal receiver is very important thing and it should be created before the journal and once your journal receiver is created then you can use the same into uh, journal uh, by referring it okay so this command is mainly used for creating journal receiver the next command is str grn pf where str is the is representing start grn is representing journal and pf is representing physical file and this command is mainly used to start the journal on the specific file so for example if you are going to implement any uh, commitment control so in th this situation you need you are supposed to start the journaling before actually you are implementing the concept of commitment control so at that moment we always use uh, str grn pf if you remember in our previous session also we use these commands some of these commands right the next command is end grn pf which is for ending the journal journal for a physical file so from uh, initial character it is clear that end is representing end grn is representing journal and pf is representing physical file so this command is mainly used to end the journaling on a specific physical file after that we have dsp grn command this is mainly used to display the information related to the journals and uh, it is also a useful command let's say if you would like to check which file has which type of journal link so you can simply go and hit this command dsp grn okay post that we have uh, another command which is dsp grn rcba where dsp is representing display grn is representing journal rcb is representing receiver and a is representing the attributes so this command is used to display attribute and status information uh, for a specific journal receiver let's say we have multiple journal receiver and from those we want to display the attribute information so in that case we will simply go with the command dsp grn rcba and it will provide the details such as size threshold and utilization of the journal so these are the all command that we use for creating and displaying the journal information post that i have noted down few commands which is for delete purpose so which is dlt so here dlt is representing delete and grn is representing journal so this command is used to delete the specified journal along with uh, along with uh, its associate uh, let me remove this line because it will not be used for deleting the associate in some cases okay so this command is uh, used to delete a specified journal effectively removing the journaling configuration for the given set of files then we have another command uh, which i mentioned here uh, which is for deleting the journal receiver dlt grn rcb this command is used to delete the specific journal receiver removing it from the journaling process deleting receivers can be useful for managing storage and ensuring efficient journal operation journaling operations so this is very useful command because if you are create only creating the journal receiver then it it is for sure taking your storage of the system so in that case you need some command to delete and uh, free the resources which is already allocated by your receivers so in that case we will use dlt grn rcb then we have another thing uh, the, so these are the all commands that we use with uh, journaling and there might be few more commands that maybe we can learn at the time of implementation itself but these are the most important commands for journaling now the next point is journaling in programming how we are using journaling so programs can be written to read journal entries and perform a specific action based on the changes record 
so we can create the programs which will read the journal entry and this is uh, frequently used in projects uh, there are multiple program that we are using in project day to day life uh, which is used to read the journal entries and to perform a specific set of operation based on the changes recorded okay and at last we have one more point which is monitoring and management various commands and tools are available for monitoring journal journaling activities and managing journal receivers okay so this is all about the monitoring and management so yeah these are the all topic which i would like to convey to you uh, for this session which is uh, we we discussed in this session about the all types of journaling we discussed about the commands and s uh, we saw that how we journaling is used in programming and monitoring and management okay fine now if you remember in previous session we st started another initiative where we will discuss a few questions that will help you to learn and prepare for the interviews so here i have put one simple question just read this question and try to answer it in comment section and by doing this you will be able to uh, uh, revise your concepts okay so the question is for today's we have question uh, can we use multiple receiver on single journal so if you have covered the series uh, for this journaling or previous session then you can easily answer this question and if you are able to answer this question then just uh, write a short answer in your uh, in this comment section and those who have uh, answered this question uh, uh, quickly like i will pick three comments and will uh, at the end of this series we will be also mention the name of those uh, uh, user or developers who have answered these questions uh, first okay so this will help us uh, to uh, tackle two things first to learn the concept and second one is to help others because uh, there are many uh, people in the uh, comment section who is not aware of these concepts so if they also need to uh, take reference for some uh, some of your answer then he can look into the comment section and he can learn from there okay so i recommend you to please uh, post your answer in the chat or in the uh, sorry in the comment section and yeah so that will help uh, you to learn the concept and will prepare you for the upcoming interviews so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech with